Hey guys, Red Foz here, welcome back. Today I'll show you the first effective trap I ever built. It's very reliable and has protected my homes on many hardcore servers. I call it the Pickup Pitfall. First, I will construct it in a one wide hallway. The Pickup Pitfall can be made easily in survival with only the items shown in my hotbar. So, you've found your location. Dig up on one side of the hallway. Turn around and place some smooth stone with the pressure plate on top. Then place your dropper down, ensuring that it faces the hallway. Dig off to the side of that dropper and place a torch. Then place the number of redstone pieces that you want your trap to extend for. This is adjustable up to 15, but I found that you really only need 7 to trap someone, even if they are running through the hallway. Fill up the dropper with a quantity of spare blocks. If it is fully filled, it will ensure the trap will be active for more than 48 hours of real time. This is equivalent to 144 Minecraft days before it needs to be refilled. Then hop out and quickly cover the top. If the trap gets jammed at this step because you picked up a newly dispensed item before the pressure plate detected it, simply throw another item on the plate. Now dig down, then in two blocks, and start placing pistons. They should extend. As previously discussed, 7 seems to be the perfect number, but you could increase it to be safe. Once you finish that, dig out the pit. 24 blocks is the required distance to kill someone if they don't have enchantments. For this build, I assume my enemies don't have end chance. Thus, I dig down 24. Whatever you do, when you get to the bottom you need to get back up. You could dig out to the side and pillar up, or use pearls, but I prefer using a bucket. Once you've hopped out, you need to safely lay down the missing floor. It's pretty easy to trap yourself on this step, so be cautious. I always lay down some water. Once you're done, all you need to do is test it out. Here's the trap in its strip form. This version is directional, meaning that they have to enter from a specific side otherwise it will not trap them. Also, this trap assumes they are not a twitchy player who might backpedal in reaction to picking up the block. If you would like to ensure a player's demise, I suggest using an omnidirectional design, as shown here, which can trap a player no matter which way they enter, or if they backpedal. In this example I use lava instead of fall damage to do the killing. I much prefer a pitfall rather than lava, as it is completely quiet and can kill even a full diamond, full protection player. In this example I am in diamond, and I would certainly be able to escape considering how much time it takes to kill me. But for more lightly armored enemies, lava could be a viable and quick option. Well, those are the basics of the pickup pitfall. If you stick around, I'll talk about how to make it in two wide hallways, a modification that allows you to hook it up to a one-use killing mechanism like TNT minecarts, and I will talk about fall damage in relation to full protection. Let's start with fall damage. I'll let these clips run. They show pretty well the randomness of protection armor. Full protection players can survive a fall of 64 blocks, if very lucky. If very unlucky, they die after a 40 block fall. If you have a server space, usually it will kill a full diamond full protection player if you dig all the way down to bedrock. But, if you want to be sure, you can add one more source of damage at the bottom of the pit. In this example, the dispensers dispense lava after the fall damage is taken, and the hoppers suck up the items before they are burned. Okay, moving on. Here's the design for a two wide hallway. There are repeaters in this build because of a bug with pressure plates. Basically, plates have a range of time to react to an item being taken away. Thus, the repeaters ensure that even though there is a delay between the plates, there is still time at which both sides of the floor is retracted. Three ticks of delay on the repeaters works fine. Because of the repeaters, the 2 wide design is a much slower trap and gives the target some time to react. Here's a demo of the trap hooked up to a one-use killing mechanism. This is my favorite modification of the trap. Here's a modification in its strip form. All you have to do is elevate the dropper by two blocks and then hook it up to an Ethonian hopper timer. Five stacks of items ensures that the dropper fires every four minutes and 20 seconds, meaning there is always an item on the plate because items take five minutes to despawn. Thus, only when an enemy takes an item will the torch turn on. Then, hook it up to your favorite one-use mechanism. I'm using TNT minecarts. Well, that's all I have to say about the pickup pitfall. Now I have a question for you guys. Would you rather have the next episode be on another trap, or would you like me to compile some clips of me using the bow and talk about my strategy? I have lots of footage. Tell me in the comments. Here's an example of the type of clip I would use.
If you want to join the conversation on Reddit, the link is in the description. Hope you guys have a great day. Red Falls out.